Chimney Hollow is a really once in a lifetime type of project. It's the largest dam built in the United States in the last 25 years. It's one of the largest public works projects that's happened in Northern Colorado in a long time. Chimney Hollow Reservoir is in the valley just to the west of Carter Lake Reservoir. It's a 90,000 acre foot reservoir for comparison. Carter Lake is about 112,000 acre feet of storage. Chimney Hollow Reservoir is a regional water supply project that provides water to 12 utilities on the Front Range. In Colorado, we've had a lot of growth. In order to provide a water supply, we have to develop projects. We all recognize that water conservation is very important and that's the first step, but that doesn't get us all the way. Not only is Chimney Hollow gonna provide water supply, it's also gonna be a really nice public open space run and managed by Larimer County for wakeless boating. There will also be trails for horses and mountain biking and hiking. It's immediately adjacent to the Colorado Big Thompson Project infrastructure. Chimney Hollow Reservoir is being built to improve the reliability of the Windy Gap Project. We've been able to establish a partnership with our contractor, Barnard Construction, with our engineer, Stantec, and with our construction manager, Black & Beach. Our major goals out here are to build all of this infrastructure to a very high quality standard. We also want to get this work done safely. Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Duto. I'm the uh, project engineer out here and um, welcome back to the hollow again. We're here to update you on everything that has happened out here and a lot has happened. So we're up here at the very top of the right abutment looking out over the project and, and from here you can see much of what's happening out of the project. You can see where our offices are on the north side of the project up there. You can see way up on the top of the mount, mountain over there, that's what we call the Bald Mountain Interconnect. That's where we tie into the Colorado Big Thompson project um, just above the Flatiron Penstock. You can see a little bit of a pipeline starting to take shape and that's, that's the 72 inch pipe that comes down from the top of the mountain over there down to fill the reservoir. You can see that yellow uh, manufacturing facility, if you will, that's where we're producing the asphalt that we're actually currently placing down the bottom of the main dam. You can see the main dam footprint down there. We're actually coming up with our asphalt and the dam embankment. So over there you can see our on-site quarry, which is uh, 80 acres in size and it's about fully developed now. You can see where we process the material. We take it from the quarry and if it needs to be processed, not everything needs to be processed, um, but the, the, the on-site uh, aggregate processing facility you can see right there. Down Valley, about two and a half miles, you can't really see it from here, but uh, that's where the saddle dam is and um, full production of that will start likely in uh, late summer of 23. So as you can see, there's snow out here. Last time we were out here, it was in the summer and, and uh, it's winter time now and, and it does get really cold out here, but we, on site, we try and work um, as much as we can during the cold weather. As long as it's safe, we'll be working out here. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go down to the valley and, and see what's happened uh, since the last tour. Hello everyone, uh, Gareth Bucklew here with Barnard Construction. I'm the project safety manager. And uh, just talk a little high level safety of the job. So we always start at the gate with our badge in, badge out security system, where everybody also sees some of our, our, our safety absolutes as well, with the basic gist and rules of our project. The people building the job are our most important resource when it comes to building this. If we don't have this, we can't build the job. So we always have to maintain safety for everybody on site, our craft, the subcontractors and our visitors and the owners as well. Safety is a big deal with us. We talk about Barnard culture and that is one of our lasting legacies with Barnard is our safety culture. Safety here as a whole is our top priority then quality and production always follows. 
All right, we're here at the uh, the main offices for the for the construction project. Over here on our on my right, uh, we have the Barnard Construction offices. That's where all the project engineers and superintendents and project managers work out of. Um, over here on my left is the Enterprise office, and the Enterprise consists of Northern Water employees, uh, Stantec employees, and that's the design engineer, Black and Veach, and Kleinfelder employees. And just to the far north of uh, where I'm standing right now, you can see our on-site materials testing lab uh, set up. So to give you guys the, the, the inside tour, I'm gonna take you through the Enterprise office real quick. Come on, let's check it out. Now let's go on site and see the progress that's been made. Here we are at the top of the Bald Mountain Interconnect, and this is a completely different vantage point from uh, areas we've been previously on site. And one thing of note is we started this tour way over there on the other side. You can see the, the, the center line of the dam embankment, and then that cliff face is where we started. So we're actually higher than we were uh, earlier in the video. So we're up here at the Bald Mountain Interconnect, and this is, this is a key piece of the infrastructure for the Chimney Hollow Reservoir project because this is where the water, we divert water off of the Colorado Big Thompson project into Chimney Hollow Reservoir via the Chimney Hollow conduit that's gonna run from up here on Bald Mountain all the way down into the valley. Up here at the very top, Bald Mountain Interconnect, and look who we find. Dan Falcon, a Northern Water employee up here. So up here where we're standing now, we have the Bald Mountain Valve Vault. And then up here behind the truck is where we tied into the Bald Mountain Tunnel. We had this area excavated and then we had to demolish, demo a section of the tunnel and come back in with a Y, a steel Y, to where we could tie into the Bald Mountain Valve Vault. From this vault, we'll come out a little ways and we'll enter a flow meter vault. And then this is where the Chimney Hollow Conduit will start to fill Chimney Hollow Reservoir. Since this work is all completed, where our tie-in is done and the valve is inside an enclosed position, the Bureau is now able to turn the tunnel back on and flow to fill Carter Lake and Horsetooth and so on. All right, Dan. Well, thanks a lot. That was very informative. Um, we're going to go down and take a peek inside the 72-inch pipe. So we are inside the Bald Mountain Valve Chamber, and I'm standing inside the 72-inch pipe that will deliver water into Chimney Hollow Reservoir when it's fully operational. And here, we have the first of 61 valves on site, and this is a 72-inch butterfly valve, so it'll butterfly open like this, and there is actually water behind me. Now let's go look at the Chimney Hollow Conduit. So we are at the uppermost constructed part of the Chimney Hollow Conduit. We started at the bottom, building our way up the hill. And this is about 3,000 feet from where we started. So we're out of about a total of, of 8,000 linear feet. We've got 3,000 feet in and set. So we're almost halfway. 
Um, but as you can see, it's a six foot diameter tunnel. Lots of water's gonna come through here to fill up the reservoir. So let's go check out the valve house excavation. So the excavation here behind me is for our uh, on-site valve house. And uh, this valve house is not a trivial structure. It's a huge warehouse, if you will, for all of the valves and piping that control the water that, that, that go in and out of, of Chimney Hollow Reservoir. So what the building is gonna be is five stories tall and It'll be done in spring of 2025. So as you can see, there's lots of work to get done out here and we're just now getting started with the excavation. I'm standing at the downstream portal of the, of the inlet outlet tunnel system here. And what you see behind me is about a 90 foot cliff face. And, and that is, um, excavated from original ground so you can we had to blast this entire area down to get to our elevation that we need for the tunnel and for the invert for the pipe um, and so this is where the water will go in and out of, of the reservoir and and it, like we've been talking it, there's a, a six foot or 72 inch diameter pipe that's going to run underground and pop up right at the entrance that you see behind me and run on the left side if I'm facing in. So that side of the tunnel is gonna be where the, the pipeline is gonna run all the way back. And it runs back 715 feet from right at that entrance right there. And so that's how far we are so far. So it's, pre it's pretty cold out here on site and, and uh, you know, you'd think the tunnel would be freezing, but it's actually, it's actually heated. So let's go into the tunnel where it's warm and uh, we can talk about stuff inside of there. All right, so we're about 250 feet back in the tunnel. And as you can see behind me, they're actively shooting shot creek stuff. And, and so as a safety measure, we can't go past this red chain. But if you can imagine, the tunnel goes another uh, like 400, 450 feet back to the, to the back of the valve chamber. And that's where, that's where the valving system for the filling and, and draining of the reservoir is gonna sit. So it's a, it's a bigger diameter tunnel than what we're in right now. And then, um, beyond that, so as I said, 715 feet back to the back, and then from that point on, the tunnel's going to be 11 foot diameter with our 72 inch pipe inside of it and solid concrete and grout around it, so there won't be personnel access. And, and the reason that we have personnel access on the downstream side is so, so our operations and maintenance crews can get in there, inspect the valves, inspect the pipe, do maintenance on the pipes, and, and then if, if necessary, we can, do, we can replace the valve. Let's head on over to the quarry. So here we are in the south quarry. The, the, the main quarry is, it's, it's all one quarry, but it's separated into two sections, north and south. And uh, behind me is the south quarry, and they're actively loading uh, material for use in the dam. And we are at the 5720 bench, and that's just designated by elevation. And um, you can see the high wall behind me, that's, that's about a 40 foot high wall. So that kind of puts it in perspective. The fact that when this quarry is done and the project is done, we're gonna be down 300 feet below basically what you see back there. So you can see that there's, there's a lot to go and a lot of material to come out, but we're, uh, we're, we're, we're moving along and, and placing material. So this is a different angle and it kind of puts it in a little bit more perspective. If, if you recall that they, these are 100 ton haul trucks, so that means they hold 100 tons of material in each load. And you can see how big it is. And then the 6015 excavator can load the 100 ton haul truck in about six, bucket passes, if you will. And so that kind of puts everything in perspective. There's nothing small about Chimney Hollow, including the excavator, and the bucket, and the haul trucks, and this thing, and that thing. <laughs> So 
So this is a large aggregate production facility, as you can see behind me. And and what's uh, what's really neat about it is is it's a it's a it's a wet and a dry system, meaning that the dry system crushes all the rock and it it, it all the material gets used. So you can see some of the material over there. There's coarse material. There's really fine material in it, and every gradation in between. And behind me is where it transitions into the, the wet system, or, or essentially the washed material. And what that does is it, it produces the spec, uh, spec rock, and then it washes out all the finer material that's not needed in that, in that actual product and, and, and wastes it on site. So behind me is where the, 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 the pit run from the quarry is placed into the jaw crusher. And you can see it getting loaded in right now. And, and from that jaw crusher, depending on what the contractor needs at any given time, they can make zone three, which is just straight, this material that's coming off right here, it's just straight crusher from the, from the, uh, from the jaw crusher. Or this material turns into, the, into the, the pit feed and then it gets processed into all the various other zones. Let's go down to the bottom in the main core trench. So this, this is the bottom of the main dam excavation. It's, it's the deepest part uh, that we have out here. Um, and, and what is of note right now is, is th there used to be like a 35 foot deep hole right here where I'm standing. And now we're up 55 feet from where we were at our lowest when we started in October of 2022. So this is a good spot to show how the asphalt is placed and the, the thickness of the lift. The contractor is placing them by spec in nine inch loose lifts before they compact them. And so you can see here, this is in between two separate uh, placement types and there's, there's your nine inch lift. And one really neat thing you can see from right here is the fact that, that the machine places both of these zones at the same time. So this is zone one, it's the asphalt, hot asphalt, or hydraulic asphalt core. And then these two zones are the same thing and those are what we call zone two. And that's again like a two and a half inch minus material. And, and the, the contractor places it in the placement machine and they, they're, they're placed at the exact same time and vibrated and compacted simultaneously. So on behalf of all of us out here building Chimney Hollow Reservoir, we, we'd like to thank you for following us on this virtual tour. And as you can see, there's, there's always lots going on out here. And um, check back often because we'll be updating this video again in the next six months or so.